For latest generation of motherboard, uh, this one will be on the Intel. This is an Asrock B560M Pro AC Wi-Fi. So what you're gonna get ready is a pen drive, which is more than 8GB will do. Then what you're gonna do is you can Google search your motherboard. For mine, I'll be going to this one. This is the motherboard I'm using. B560M Pro 4 AC Plus. So you need to take note that you must get the exact model bef uh, before you flash your BIOS. So what you're gonna do is flash the latest one because usually since Windows 11 is already launched, the new BIOS that they put up are usually supported uh, for Windows 11. So what I can see here is I can go to the motherboard website and go to support and go to BIOS. So it works for all motherboards. For example, we can go MSI B3560M and then uh, just simply go into one of it. And you can see on the motherboard itself, there should be a support page. So on the support page, you can look for BIOS. This is for MSI. And same goes to all the big brands like Gigabyte. Uh, regardless, it's a B550, B450, anything. So just search for your motherboard model on Google and you should be able to get it. So for example, this is B550 Aurus. So you can actually go to the support page and look for the downloads on this one will be at the BIOS. So just grab the latest one. It should be updated by the time this video is uh, released. So this one supports Windows 11. So it's very easy. You just need to prepare your BIOS. For ours, we will have to download the ASRock one. So I'll grab the ASRock latest BIOS. Prepare your pen drive, any pen drive. Plug it in your motherboard and here we go I have the pen drive here ready so uh, just ignore the files inside for now and then once you downloaded your BIOS file okay let me unzip extract grab the BIOS file from your PC put it into your pen drive okay make sure it's uh, transferred correctly what you're gonna do is restart your PC so when you restart, once you see your boot logo, you can start pressing your delete or F2. This will bring you into the BIOS. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press delete. Let's go into the BIOS. Okay, this will work uh, for all other motherboards as well. So you just go into BIOS. Uh, I would like to go advanced menu. So uh, for different motherboard, you have different key for your advanced menu. So once you're in advanced menu, search for your BIOS update. For this one, a short is called Instant Flash. So Instant Flash and search for the latest BIOS. Let me see. So currently, okay, we, although we are running the latest one, so I just want to show you that yes okay so we can update do you want to update yes just press yes okay so let the pc reboot follow the on-screen instruction and you'll be able to update your bios so make sure you do not power off and do not take your pen drive away let it load you'll start your bios update right away so after you finish updating your bios you should be able to boot back into your PC without needing to change any of the settings because it's already configured for Windows 11. So once you have done this, you can uh, go back to the first video or to continue the installation for your Windows 11.